Chili Man, three, two, one. Thank you for the $20 Venmo donation, bro. The Merry Christmas wishes. I appreciate you a lot, man. I appreciate you a lot. Guys, I actually got to meet this dude a couple times and uh, super cool guy. I'm looking forward to seeing you again when you come up here. Um, seriously, I, I just, uh, I'm just constantly blown away. I, I'm just constantly blown away by this. I, there's just, there really are no words in the English dictionary or the English language <laughs> to let you guys know how I really feel about this. I'm very, 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 very grateful. And it makes me very, very, very happy. So thank you for the help, man. I really freaking need it, but I'm not one who complains about it because I know I'll always make it through. I will always make it through. So, <laughs> but today I'm having a bit of a struggle. Um, the doctors are like trying to like put me off to go see a psychiatrist and the, the soonest I can see a psychiatrist is in like a, a couple months and they don't want to prescribe me any more of the panic attack medication and I don't I don't get why it's always politics over patient care but unfortunately it is what it is so anyway but chilly man it's good to hear from you man hearing from you makes me really 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 happy You've been a part of this channel and a part of my life for quite a few years now. You guys, I remember I would, I'd go visit him. I'd go say hello to him a, a, a couple different times. And uh, he's just a really good guy, just like all of you are, are good guys and gals. This help is insane, you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it is so freaking insane. And because I'm fortunate enough, I know you guys are gonna trip out. I have a little two-story house here, right? $550 per month and water is included. Can you believe that? So like my bills are not that much, which is why I've been paying for my mom's car for the past three years. She has a brand new Subaru Forester and I, and I send my dad about 450 to 500 a month to pay for his direct TV, his AT&T home bill, or the, the and then the AT&T internet at home and his AT&T cell phone. So direct TV and all of that, they're all connected together. Um, and yeah, of course I don't have any extra money after that, but that's, that's not what I care about. I just care about not having to stress about like just getting my basic bills paid. And I know we all stress about that and I, and, and I'm no more special than anybody else. And so this help I'm really grateful for. I am super, super, super grateful for. I finally feel like I am earning it a little bit because that's what you guys keep on telling me when I say I don't feel worthy. You guys say, dude, you're driving around all the time, spending all this money on gas, paying for very expensive equipment, always responding to us. Like, dude, you're, you're doing us a huge solid. And you know what? Thank you for saying that. I really appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. I wish all of us could get this help too. I really do. Anyway, chilly man. Today's a bit of a struggle, but I'm gonna get through it. Seeing your name pop up made me happy, brother. I am really looking forward to seeing you. I hope you get here sooner than later. Um, you know, as, as you all know, I've been going through some serious social anxiety recently. I don't know what is going on, what's changing in my life so bad, but I got off of, um, for those of you who don't know, like I was taking like 15 Norco per day. Um, for years and you know it was what I was using as an antidepressant and I think that's what set all of this into this really awful awful motion so it's been since November 30th that I've I've had anything I've I, I've even stopped smoking herbs because it's setting me into panic and and paranoia out of nowhere and so I just I just want you guys to know where I'm at today but chili man thank you man I appreciate you I appreciate the love I appreciate the support, man. It helps dramatically. I don't even know how much more I can say that because it keeps on coming and I am extraordinarily grateful. Um, and also a little bit bummed out because one of our friends, John, contacted me last night saying he's in town and 
he he wanted to visit with me and I was explaining to him my somewhat agoraphobia agoraphobia issue and my social anxiety but because of you guys I'm able to, to kind of fight through that a little bit and I'm totally uh, totally willing to you know meet him I just hope he didn't take any offense to it because he hasn't responded to me since and now I'm like feeling super super sad about that so anyway chili man three two one thank you I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. And if there's if there's anything I can do for you, man, I mean, I'm I'm fairly useless, you know, as a person. I'm struggling big time right now. You guys are helping my struggles, but still, if, if there's anything I can try to do, don't hesitate to let me know. I would be super, super, super grateful. <clears throat> and sorry about this message being like kind of like like uh talking and then not talking talking and not talking i'm just stressing out big time over so much stuff right now and uh yeah this whole doctor stuff it's just it's politics over patient care and it's very very sad but unfortunately it's because of people like me who years ago would go doctor shopping to get pain medication and guys i didn't have any physical pain but it would help me get through every single day. I could live in my own skin. I could be happy with who I am. And I know that sounds horrible, but like I never understood why people would judge me so bad. No one knew that I was on these pills. And, and as I said, I was taking about 15 per day for years. You know, it was like a hundred dollar per day habit. And seriously, it's like, it's like, why was I being judged so much when like now I take Prozac because that's a real antidepressant, but I don't get judged, I get praised. But then for taking something that was making me feel like I wanted to live and be in my own skin, like that that was such a bad thing and I could get through anything. Like it's just hard guys, life is not easy, but I'm off of those things. It's been since November 30th and I, and I want you guys to know that any of you suffering like me, I wanna be there for you the best that I can. And because of my, experiences i want to share my experience strength and potential hope with you guys because there is hope out there and i just I, I i really appreciate you um chili man thank you for listening dude i can't wait to see you man it's been a long time i love you brother